Google just launched Imogen 4. It's their latest image generation model, and it's a massive upgrade. Imogen 4 delivers visuals that pop, you get richer details, more natural color, much better text output, textures feel sharper, characters stay consistent, and you can go from comic strips to full sci-fi scenes without losing quality, and it also does better with prompts too. Product photos look more real, labels are clear, and it understands what you're asking for much more precisely than before, but what is new compared to Imogen 3? Well, prompt comprehension is better, colors feel less artificial, and fantasy scenes look more believable, but the big improvement is actually in human faces. Imogen 4 can now understand expressions, you can ask it for a specific look and it listens, and it didn't launch alone. Google also rolled out VO3, their new video generation model, and you can create short, real-looking clips from images, like this one with a girl eating ice cream, or even a street vendor selling lollipops. But the big question here is how does Imogen 4 stack up against GPT? Well, to test this, Supriya gave the same prompt to Imogen 4 and GPT-40, and you can see GPT-40's result was sharp, realistic, and high res. It looked vibrant, but it had that classic yellow tint. Imogen 4's image felt a little bit cartoonish and slightly morphed. And then Gadgetify ran the same test. Imogen 4 nailed the lighting, shadows, and stuck to the prompt, whereas GPT-40 came back with something that kind of looked like it belonged in a museum. So if you had to choose, which one would you go with?